All right, with committee hearings all week, it was, it was like from beginning to end, yes, we took the time to highlight some of the Democrats, sorry, most pathetic attempts at trapping conservatives. And we have a new segment. We're calling it Hearing Slade. Get it? And here with me to help break it all down, Matt Schlapp, chairman of the American Conservative Union. He says it's a bad pun. And Virginia State Rep Mark Levine. It's great to have you on, both of you. Now, let's start with Mad Maxine, okay? This is just two of the most embarrassing exchanges she had. And I'm just talking in the last week. There's never been anybody that's been here more than three hours and 15 minutes. I've sat here for over three hours and 15 minutes. I appreciate your uh, reminding us of the length of time other uh, secretaries have been here. This is a new way, and it's a new day, okay, well, and it's a new chair, okay, and well, I have the gavel at this point. If you wish to leave, you may. Uh, can you clarify that for me? If I'm you wish there. to leave, you may. What are you guys doing to help us with the student loan debt? Who would like to answer first? We stopped making student loans in 2007 or so. Oh, so you don't do it anymore, Mr. Corbett? We exited student lending in 2009. Mr. Diamond? When the government took over student lending in 2010 or so, we stopped doing all student lending. Uh, thank you. Well, Matt, you think the head of the Financial Services Committee might have had a handle on when the government actually took over the business right. of student loans. Uh, and Mnuchin just wanted to get to a meeting with, like, was it the, the president of Oman yes. or yes, Bahrain? I, Bahrain? Bahrain was waiting and waiting for, okay. I have on, never wait. seen a secretary of the Treasury be put in timeout before or have to raise his hand if he wants to go to the bathroom. Uh, it, was, it was completely absurd. And it was, it was using the gavel and saying, look, this is my. When you actually have to say, I have the, I gavel, have the gavel, isn't that kind of. Well, when, she, when he says, you know, I don't know if I can leave or stay, she said, you're free to go. And he's like, well, I don't understand what you mean. You're free to go. No, what she was, he doesn't he understand was, English. What he there. was getting at was she didn't, she wouldn't dismiss the That's hearing. Right. The right. formal end of the hearing is hit it, hit the gavel, which he called the gravel. No, at one yeah, point. That's right. He did. It got so we didn't mean to edit that out. Sorry, but he called it the gravel because he was just like, come on. They, I think they had had a gentleman's they agreement. They can continue the hearing after he goes. But they didn't have no, no, that's not right. No, no. You know, you're a legislator. No, of you know, course just, they can. You just end that panel, and you can bring in another yeah. panel. Right, right. But what she was saying is she wanted to own the idea that he, he it would look like he, he walked wa away. Well, he, he wants to walk it. out, obviously. Uh, but he said, we were, we were accomplishing so out. much with the hearing, well, you know, asking dumb questions about things asking that happened like 10 years ago. Questions like whether he should disclose Donald Trump's tax returns. Yeah, I think it's a dumb question. Given that the law requires him to do that? Well, wait a minute. You said it doesn't? I'm you know what? You guys I, to, okay. I, I brought the law with me. No props. If you no can't props? remember the statute, oh, no, no, no. I know it. the statute. It's okay. Very well, clear. guess what? If you want to, if you think Americans are going to vote on Donald Trump's tax reform, I want you to go no, to his return. But I think they're going to vote on law, oh, right. whether they obey the law or not. You, and, and Republicans used to agree with law Waters abiding. Was embarrassing in that clip about the about the student lending? That I mean, if your junior associate at your law firm did that, you'd be like. Well, wait a second. Yeah, Where if, did you go to law school? But if your junior associate at law firm said, oh, we don't have to follow the tax code. I'm with Bill wait, Barr Mnuchin this can go yeah. to jail for I'm six years. All right. that, that's actually All right. Well, I have, I have a feeling Mnuchin's not going to go to jail for six years. But Mad Maxine wasn't the only one with no idea about what falls under the purview of the particular person they were questioning. Now, here's Rep. Matt Cartwright hitting a Bill Barr roadblock. Your decision does for its breadth, its scope, its recklessness and its lack of legal justification to invalidate the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. We try to base our answer on the law. If you think it's such an outrageous position, you have nothing to worry about. Let the courts do their job. Well, I'm dismayed to hear that you're willing to drive our health care system off the cliff with no plan for replacing well, it. Well, I think the prem your premise that the Justice Department makes health care policy is simply wrong. We, we take legal positions in cases. Now, Mark, you have to admit, this is strange. He didn't have Alex Azar, HHS secretary, up there. He didn't have the White House chief of staff up there, or maybe even the law. He had the... Attorney General of the United States is like, well, you're going to push Graham off the cliff. He's like, what? I'm just, I take a position that the administration agrees on that they want to take. The question is whether they're going to enforce the law. He's not and the Bob HHS Barr. secretary. No, but he's the attorney general. Yeah, and but, are... but it's a position that the administration itself jointly comes to. Yeah. Right, but the, the Supreme Court was very clear. 
I, you may not like it, but the Affordable Care Act is constitutional, yeah. and he's got to obey it's it. Not the heart of the, the, all of this it's is about, about lawless. No, it's not. With, this is about whether Republicans no, let, let under Trump are going to follow the law. Let me jump real fast. What this is about is the idea that Obamacare is does not stand because the Congress legally pulled out the individual mandate. That's what the question is No one can follow this conversation. It's too confusing. But I... I he doesn't run health care policy. That's the point that I want to... I, and I think he said That's that right. again. Not to say they can't ask questions, but he doesn't run it. All right. This was um, Congressman Maisie Hirono's other half in Hawaii. What's his name? Brian Schatz? I always forget his name. Senator Schatz. All right. This is a Q&A that we also watched. Check it out. I think the word spying uh, could cause uh, everybody in the cable news ecosystem to freak out. And I think it's necessary for you to be precise with your language here. You normally are, and I want to give you a chance to be especially precise here. Um, I'm not sure of all the um, connotations of that word that you're referring to, but, you know, unauthorized surveillance. I want to make sure there was no unauthorized surveillance. Okay, thank you. Is, is, that, is that more appropriate in your mind? Is that more appropriate? Is it okay to say unauthorized surveillance? It was authorized surveillance. Okay. Is it okay to say unauthorized surveillance? Yeah, and spying is okay, All too. Right. All right, panel, thank you so much.